What's up, everyone? It is Fido from Self Taught Hustle back at it again. And today I will be showing you guys how to get data from your browser's local storage. Like the last tutorial, I recommend you guys having a Chrome browser and having your markup set up something like this, right? And particularly, you want to have this line 13 that references your JavaScript file. Okay, so the way that we access our data is that first, let's go take a look at where our data is at. I just click the arrow there, hit the application on the drop down, and here we have our data, right? So the key is users, and then the value is a string, well, really a stringified uh, array with uh, the user objects contained within it. Right. So to access that data, what we'll do is first we'll access the data and then second of all, we'll, we'll get that data out onto our console. So to do that, we go ahead and go to our window object, say window dot and then we point to our local storage. OK, now we're in the local storage and instead of set item, we want to reference get item. Right. And what we want to do is that we want to reference the data that we're going to get via the key, right? So in our instance, our key is users, which is excellent. So the way that we do that is that we get that via a string, right? Now we're going to go back over to the console and nothing happened because we're not logging the data on there yet. So we'll go ahead and do that. The simple console log. And voila, you see our data here. Now the thing is, is that when that data was stored into the local storage, it was stored as a string. So you can't really see it for what it is, right? As an array with objects inside of it. So in order to see that data correctly, we'll once again use the JSON object, right? And instead of stringifying, which makes a data structure into a string, we will use parse, which essentially configures an existing string into a data structure, right? So we hit save. And then all of a sudden you see an array with three objects inside of it. And you see the contents within each one of those objects. Either way, that was how you get data from your local storage. I really appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'm excited to see how you use this in your code. And I will see you guys next time.